Well, the work of Denver Zoo is far reaching, this time to South Africa, where thousands of lesser flamingos were in trouble and a team here flocked to help. Karen Morfitt joins us from the zoo tonight. And Karen, the Denver Zoo is always quick to help out all over the country. Karen, the Denver Zoo has been a part of hundreds of conservation projects, and when they heard that nearly 2,000 flamingos were at risk, they jumped at the opportunity to help. For two weeks, Eva Smoot, a vet tech at the Denver Zoo, took her work on the road. When I got there, actually, was when I realized how much help they really needed. Smoot and two colleagues are part of an international effort to rescue more than 1,800 lesser flamingo chicks in South Africa. The chicks were left abandoned when drought hit. If we hadn't intervened, um, they would have just starved to death. <laughs> Her work in Africa was all hands-on, tasked with aiding the most debilitated birds, efforts she documented on video. Seeing all the flamingos there, and they were babies too, which played into like the emotional side of it. Already 800 of those chicks are set to be reintroduced into the wild. An example of conservation work the zoo isn't often recognized for, but communications director Jake Cubier says they're involved with regularly. We really feel it's our responsibility to, to be protectors of wildlife, um, and that's unfortunately we have the, the staff, the resources, and the expertise to, to be able to help. For Smoot, it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and exactly what she signed up for. You do your best and you do what you can, and you know that you're making some kind of difference. Now, unfortunately, the Denver Zoo doesn't have a lesser flamingo exhibit. They do have a flamingo exhibit, just not that species. They say none of those birds will be coming here to Denver. Live in Denver tonight, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.